Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's a look back at the 2009 proof set. All right. Well, at 18 coins, this is the largest proof set ever for the U.S. Mint, and it remains so. So there were three extra cents because of the Lincoln 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cent and also 200th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. And then one extra quarter, normally there had been five quarters in the set, but uh, with the territories, this is the actually first year after the statehood quarter program ended and now those are the territories and Washington DC. We've got the four presidents and then the basics of the set, the dollar actually is a little bit different this year. It's a Native American dollar instead of Sacagawea. And so let's get into them. All right, might as well delve right in with the Lincoln cents. And one thing you'll notice, lots of color on these. Um, the modern proof sets with this cardboard um, housed uh, inside the lens it's changing the coin. So purists beware if you've put away your proof sets and thinking that they're gonna be pristine, uh, you may be in for a surprise. So I do like toned coins, so I'm not upset. Actually, I did buy these um, kinda off, uh, off market there uh, from the LCS, actually. I uh, didn't pay the premium that's associated with proof coins. It's kind of a losing proposition when you buy directly from the mint um, at the time they come out. Um, sometimes you can't resist, of course, when they're limited and whatnot, but um, a lot of these can be had in the aftermarket uh, for significantly lower prices. So that's a little tip on proof coins. Um, some of the, you know, like mid-70s coins uh, can be had for like, you know, five dollars so anyway um the more dramatic color is on this side of course and one thing that uh, is different with the proof lincoln sense as compared with the business strike is there are no differences in the mintage among the four um the uh, presidency coin in the business strike is limited as compared with the others, and so it commands a bit of a higher value. Uh, in the proofs, there are no, uh, they're just under 3 million of each of these minted, and the mintage numbers on these proof coins from this set, uh, because there were so many different incarnations of um, the proof sets with like a separate set just for these Lincoln cents and then of course the silver proof set and the quarters set all the all the mintages are you know different for the proof coins <laughs> in 2009 so there are some errors to check for um, so the um, formative years has the extra finger and the early childhood has um, kind of doubled posts on the, or logs on the corner of the structure. So I'll go in with the microscope later and we'll check for those, but just really wanted to show off the color and thought it was kind of neat. This was going to be a Toner Tuesday uh, presentation, but I thought it was kind of a fun set to go through uh, in general. So the next lens has the basics of the set, and so you got the nickel, the dime, the half, and then the Native American dollar. And it is different this year. It is the first year um, that it's not really called the Sacagawea dollar. It is essentially the same obverse, but the reverse, um, they vary it each year. So this is called Three Sisters and that's the first entry in the Native American dollar set. And as with the um, cents, these coins, actually, especially the dime, have taken on some color. Let me anyway, see. You can kind of see the color on the dime. So, and the nickel as well. I think just because these aren't um, very 
well sealed and also who knows what that ink is in the inside there so time will tell so here are the quarters and like i mentioned there was an extra uh, quarter in the set uh, so the dc um, district of columbia coin and then the five territories of the u.s and so some of these have some color going as well. The American Samoa and Guam uh, have a little bit of, uh, and you're saying, sure. Let's see if we can show it off here. Uh, not so well. One thing uh, that I don't care for, oh wow, especially that one. Um, they've changed the way that they process the dyes for the proofs, uh, previously they had sandblasted the frosty areas. 2009 was the first year they used lasers to frost the recessed areas in the dye. And the effect is not so good. Look at the stripes on the piano there. And then this one in particular looks very, I don't know, mottled or grainy. I don't know. I don't really like it. So... The uh, traditions of the past are gone, and so there were a lot of complaints about the, the look of these coins. Um, so, yeah. But in general, I like the designs. Um, there are no errors um, in the quarters for the, this particular proof set. Um, but uh, we will check for the ones on the cents after the, after the proceedings here. And so um, the dollar set, um, at first I thought was kind of not too distinctive. These guys aren't the household names for presidents, uh, especially compared with the previous two proof sets where you had, you know, Washington and Jefferson and I think Jackson was in the second um, grouping. So these guys, you know, I figured, ah, I'm not going to talk about them too much, but he only lasted, I think, um, 35 days before he passed away. And Tyler became the first ever vice president to take over the presidency um, when a president died in office. It wasn't a, a rule or a law back then. So, uh, and then Polk, um, he's known for expanding the territory of uh, the U.S. kind of westward. Uh, Oregon and uh, Texas, I believe, were um, acquired under his presidency. And then Zachary Taylor only lasted 16 months. So I think these four presidents might have the shortest tenure among the proof set <laughs> presidential coins so i'll have to double check that but these also have some color changes going on so uh, yeah i think the cardboard is really uh, having an effect on these so i've noticed it in other years as well so anyway let's get to the microscope before we get to the lincoln sense i just wanted to show the graininess of the Quarters, uh, it's really kind of gross. All right, and here we are with the Lincoln scent. This is the formative years. And I think most people are familiar uh, with the air on this coin in the business strike, but in the proof there is an air as well, kind of in this area. Uh, mine unfortunately doesn't have it but um, it kind of raises that finger up into the binder of the book. Um, there are some other minor doubled varieties. I don't know if that has a little bit of something going on, but uh, they're not recognized by PCGS. The uh, only one that is is kind of the, where this is kind of like raised up. All right, and lastly, we've got the birthplace and early childhood. And this is the corner of the building. And what you're looking for is kind of like an, a doubling to the right of the ends of the logs. And mine doesn't have it. So. All right, 
Well, hopefully you've enjoyed the review of the 2009 proof set. I'm going to keep an eye on the color going on these guys. But I thank you so much for watching Quint Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye. Bye.